The Maui Tropical Plantation and the Millhouse Restaurant are located in central Maui in an area called Wailuku, Hawaii. Hi, it's Jenna here from Sit, Bite, Go, and today we're at the Maui Tropical Plantation. We're about to go on a tour around the farm to see all of the pineapple, and after that we're going to have lunch at the Millhouse Restaurant right here on site. Can't wait to take you behind the scenes. Join me. The Tropical Express Tour at the Maui Pineapple Plantation runs every day and takes about 45 minutes. It showcases Maui's tropical fruits and the beautiful flora in a lighthearted way. There's a brief stop at a tiki hut for a coconut husking demonstration. And at the end, you receive a complimentary cup of fresh cut pineapple and papaya. Delicious. Check out the bonus footage at the end of this video for the complete coconut husking demonstration. It's a good idea to take the plantation tour before eating at the Millhouse restaurant because you get to check out all the fresh fruit and vegetables that are used in the meal. The Millhouse restaurant is located right in the middle of the Maui Tropical Plantation. When you're eating, you can look out on the beautiful landscape and the mountainous range in central Hawaii. They use the highest quality ingredients that they find right there on the farm or from local farms and everything is totally in season and fresh. I had the opportunity to interview Chef Jeff before sitting down to enjoy a meal at the Millhouse restaurant. Hi everyone, I'm here today with Chef Jeff from the Millhouse. It's on the Maui Tropical Plantation and we're about to try the menu. But before we do, I want to introduce you to the chef and learn more about him and what he's making here at the restaurant. So welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> and um, so you're not a Hawaiian native, but you're using all of these wonderful ingredients. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I'm from Southeastern Ohio. Ohio. And I moved here 15 years ago. Okay, nice. Been here for a long time now. And were you cooking in Ohio, or did you start here? I was. I started cooking in Ohio, but I never took it seriously. So most of my, you know, when I came to Maui, I moved. I was 22 years old. I came to Maui, and I just, I, my plan was to be here for a few months okay. and work on a boat. And after three months went by, I found myself wanting to stay and sticking around, and then eventually working myself back into the kitchen. And then I actually went to Maui Culinary Academy oh, out wow. here shortly after. Nice. And um, so we just got done doing the tour around the farm and heard that there's so many different fruits and ingredients that you're using right from the acres here. What are some of the main things that you use? Well, right now is kind of a special time because we're doing a lot of, um, we're moving, we're changing a lot of stuff here at the farm. So in the summer we have beautiful corn. Kudu Farms is amazing corn. Um, it's not here yet. It's coming to come at the end of the summer, so we're excited about that. Across the street, Bobby Pahia is now raising pigs. Okay. So some of the pork is now used Even in the that's menus. Fresh. That's fresh as can wow. be. Wow. Um, Kuba Farms is a lot of stuff. They, they grow, you know, the, the, the tram tour takes them all the way around the restaurant. That's where we get our chard, our leafy greens, um, leeks. They do amazing fennel. Cat soy. We have a, you know, we always do some sort of farm salad. They do, we do cabbages from them on occasion. Um, you know, it just it changes. It always changes. So we got to be really flexible with the farmers and kind of figure out what's in season and what's doing well. Cool. Well, I've seen so many photos on Instagram that I cannot wait to go and <laughs> snap a few myself. Everything is so com uh, colorful. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering if there's like one or two dishes that you're super excited about right now, what would they be? Um, you know, the menu, we just kind of, you know, we flow with what's in season right now. Um, we've got a brand new chopped salad, which is just kind of a fun thing to put on the menu. A bunch of ingredients that we have in the oh. house. Um, the Waikapu Valley is famous for macadamia nuts. Mm -hmm. So our macadamia nuts come local. In fact, we have a macadamia nut orchard right behind yeah. us. We have a mango orchard, avocados. Um, it's a good time of year. You know, the summer Maui gets really hot, so leafy greens, things that don't do well in the really, you know, the hot summers, that's when we kind of pair back on that type of stuff. And now we're going in the fall, so this is a planting period for most of the farm, so we're excited for the brassicas, the cauliflowers, the broccoli. that all happens all winter long, so 
um, they get planted in the fall. So, you know, the menus change is depending on, you know, what's available. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that before, but you probably work with the farmer to hear what's coming up and then that helps shape your dishes? Yeah, all the time. It's like I do a chef's table tasting menu on Saturday. Okay. And that's for a smaller group and that's actually for, you know, that's when we get really small batches of something from a farmer. Uh -huh. And, you know, you just got to be really willing to change at the last minute because oh. even though, like last week, sometimes we'll have, you know, we had some brassicas here last week and then this week there's there's none of that. So, and they thought there was going to be some of that. Mm. So, you got to be really flexible. You got to be willing to, you know, when the back door opens and the farmers come in, they usually come in with, with multiple boxes. And I mean boxes stacked to the ceiling. Oh, wow. And we have to go through them and we have to wash them. And, you know, just because we might have ordered 10 pounds of leeks, we might not, not have 10 pounds of leeks show up. So okay. we have to just figure out what is, you know, that's what I call our ideal order. It and sounds like a reality show. It's a reality <laughs> show. It's a mixed basket every day. So. Cool. Well, I'm so excited to go back and try the restaurant. Thank you so much of for course. your time. Thank you Appreciate so much. it. Everything looks good. Uh, the Easy Rider looks very good. Bourbon, Bourbon. orange, pineapple, yeah. lemon. Yum. Sounds good. I'm doing a zero proof myself. They have a lime and a mac nut. That sounds really good. Macadamia nice. nuts, lime, soda. They also have a root beer. Oh, I love root my root beer. Root beer. Very smooth. Tropical? Yeah. Yum. Nice burn from the bourbon. Very fruity. Yum. Citrusy. Very good. Drink up. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, they're like beignets, she said. Looks so good. Good. We've got the marinated beets. Um, they will be served over a yogurt tahini honey emulsion. It's topped with roasted fennel, finished with puffed grains and seeds, and a little fresh mint and dill. It looks so good. I'm obsessed with beets. Got our daily chef's board here. Yum. We have a blend of shredded and braised beef and pork riette over our homemade crostini, our chickpea cake over a harissa creme fresh finished with a um, cabbage coleslaw. We've got our country style pork pate with macadamia nuts and house herbs. That's going to be served with our hazelnut raisin crackers. It's finished with a fennel jam and a um, house-made mustard as well. Wow, it all looks so fresh. And these are our chicken bao buns. Wow. They're served in a Chinese-style bun shaped in a taco. They're going to be stuffed with mochiko battered chicken. Um, they're over a koju jang aioli and an unagi glaze and finished with our house-made kimchi. We've got our kampachi fish sandwich on our house-made potato bun with a macadamia nut pesto, a garlic aioli, freestay greens that are tossed in a pickled shallot vinaigrette with a um, charred lemon on the side and our purple Molokai sweet potato chips. Hey okay, guys, we've got our Kalbi marinated steak seared to medium rare, our locally grown broccolini and a little olive oil and lemon zest saute with crushed red pepper, macadamia nuts, and fresh grated parmesan cheese. Buttermilk panna cotta topped with toasted coconut and a pineapple compote. These are our malasadas. Wow. Fresh malasadas made in house. Um, they're gonna be much like a Portuguese donut, fried and dusted in a kefir lime sugar served with a pineapple orange custard on the side. Thank you. You're welcome.
It's been a pleasure to take you behind the scenes of the Maui Tropical Plantation and the Millhouse Restaurant. I hope that you find all you need to plan your Maui vacation here on the Sit By Go YouTube channel. If there are any questions that you have or other ideas that you want to get for your Maui trip, don't hesitate to reach out or explore my other videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers!
eczema. Rubbing coconut oil on that effect.